Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to get into a video to show you how to install Google Assistant onto your Windows computer. As a quick example to show you what I'm talking about, basically in order for it to work, you have to have a given command each time that you want to use it and um, or each time that you want to initiate it and then each time that you want it to hear you so okay google isn't going to work here you have to press enter for it to even know to start listening to you so here's the example how are you today all's well anything i can help with what is two times two the answer is four how big is a blue whale Blue whale typically has a weight of 300,000 pounds. See, this is basically how it works is it figures out what you are asking and then it responds to it. Uh, so it sends it over to the internet and it responds back. So that's a big thing to note. So you got to press enter each time that um, you want to talk to it, unless if it's something like here where I asked it a uh, question that will require a follow-up so it will um, automatically cause the recording just like if it was on your phone this is actually what is happening on your phone you just don't see it because well this is the back end of the thing um and 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 because of that it's important to note that this is not google home <laughs> so um some functionality like on google home um i don't know uh, let's say Call Pizza Hut. Calling Pizza Hut. It, that's it. I mean, it ain't going to do anything because there is no phone application. It's basically we try to pull up the phone application and it didn't work. This is the same thing that's off the phone, not on Google Home. I, I don't have a way to get one from Google Home as of right now. So... If you're okay with this and everything, then um, here's how you, how it works. First things first is you need to make sure that you have Python. So what you need to do is open up command prompt and what you need to do is put in Python. So if you see Python, then great. If you don't, then I got videos on how to install it and try to go for version three or above. So simple as that. Now, next thing next is we need to go to the first link. Um, so you might get a uh, term of service asking you to accept, accept it, and then go to create a project and then name the project whatever you want. I just named it uh, Google Assistant PC press create if you got to do more term service stuff then accept that uh, once you create that go to the second link I provide and unfortunately I, I, I can't show you how to do this part I just have to scrub it uh, enable the thing so you'll have an enable click that then from there you'll have a um, create credential click that and it'll take you to something that looks like this Go down to other UI one oh CLI tool and then go down to user data and then what credentials do I need? Name that whatever you want. And then the following step, go to the product name and name it my PC. The reason why I'm saying my PC is if you put in the Google or a Google product or something wrong, you're going to get an error and have to restart this. So it's just easy to put my PC and make sure it's one, one word. So from there, you will get um, something that says download. Do not download. Just press done and then go all the way over here and download this. And um, then from there, you need to go to the third link. So the third link is... Uh, you know uh, uh, permissions you need to enable everything on here and this allows functionality onto the thing so last but not least you need to go to the uh, 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 command prompt you need to go to administrator command prompt and I'm just going to show you what commands to put in and I'll have this down below by the way 
you need to put in the exact command pip blah 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 and um then it will install the stuff onto the system and then from there you need to put in the following command all the way up to secret and for the uh, file that you just downloaded try drag and dropping it onto the command prompt if it works then great if it doesn't then open up another command prompt without administrator access and then drag and drop it on there then highlight the directory and press right click and then go back to this one the the administrator one and press right click and now paste it so that's just the easiest way to do it and then afterwards do space after after json do space and then paste in the rest of this code so from there what you need to do is you if, if things work you're going to get the follow uh, a a website so what you need to do is copy and paste the website into a browser and then you need to put in whatever whatever authorization code it spits out to you uh, basically all this is doing is it's um, having you say it's okay for this to um, have access to your your stuff that, that's all it's saying um, then put in the authorization code and press enter and once it says credentials saved you did everything right so from this point what you can do is you can open up a um, command uh, a, a new command it doesn't have to be in administrator mode and then put in the following code and then ta-da you got it so i mean it's pretty straightforward uh, again you can't do things like um ring my phone sorry i'm not sure how to help so you can't do stuff like that because it thinks the the program is is the same one that's on a phone it's not the same one on the google home unfortunately uh, if i could find a way to get that one i will tell you uh, because th i think that will be more helpful on here but at this time this is you know the best that i can find uh better than nothing so as far as that goes um if something goes wrong or whatever it may be then feel free to use the internet because there's a big one right there um, other than that you can leave some comments down below if you run some problems or whatever and if i got time then i will see what i can do if others know the answer then feel free to answer for that person uh with that one in mind um see you in the next video if that comes out whenever it comes out and um hope you have a great day